another accuser has come forward and revealed some disturbing things about Chris D'Elia. So she posted on Twitter, there is currently an open investigation into Chris D'Elia being conducted by the Human Trafficking Division of the LAPD. Anthony Amarello is one witness to what has occurred as he is Chris D'Elia's accomplice to the crime he committed against me. I was assaulted on camera three times, and Delia has it all on video. I hope you can understand why I will stand on this hill until I die on it. Until Chris D'Elia, my abuser, is brought to justice, damn it. I'm not playing with you. I want a restraining order. 40K that Chris D'Elia has yet to pay me for the content I made for him. Financial restitution to pay for my mental health care care that I desperately need to fully heal from what Chris D'Elia has put me through. I am not backing down because my abuser said he's never met me. Well, I say F no to that. Tell you what, my life would be significantly different should I have never met Chris D'Elia, which is, it is not. My life now is what it is because Chris D'Elia chose me to be his target for individual harassment and abuse. There are witnesses in Chris D'Elia's inner circle who know I am telling the truth, and I beg them to come forward should they want redemption. I will gladly forgive any member of Chris D'Elia's inner circle who can help me prove Chris abused me and other women, or teenage girls. Right now, I have the evidence that I have in the form of one witness, and that witness is Anthony Amarello, who acted as Chris D'Elia's accomplice. Please go to the Instagram link I provided and let Anthony know I need him to come forward to police immediately. I will accept no less from him, his father, his Instagram handle is at Amarello, and he said he's a comedian, but trust me, he is not <laughs> He is not the father. Kind of odd, he has a coveted position working as a doorman, and hence a comedy store protege being that he effing sucks at stand-up. Well, sweetie, I don't think he's going to come forward if you're trashing him. I have been through hell on earth attempting to get accountability from Chris D'Elia. I have long since reached my limit. I need justice now. I need justice yesterday. I need justice last year. Chris D'Elia is my abuser. He just so happens to be famous. But who the hell gives a F? Remember, thou art only a man. Chris D'Elia is a man who made his choices. Let him face the consequences. Chris D'Elia's karma is named Caroline. Y'all, and I am going to be a bitch until I am granted a restraining order from the Los Angeles court system against Chris D'Elia. I need recognition from law enforcement that Chris D'Elia has been a danger to me and hence award me a legal piece of paper that ensures me Chris D'Elia will not harass me both physically and online from now on. Chris D'Elia pays me the 40K he owes me for the content I made for him, as well as an additional restitution to provide for my mental health treatment needed to recover and heal from what Chris D'Elia put me through. OnlyFans is made aware of what happened to me via their website and acknowledges the numerous other women who have experienced similar instances of exploitation like I have on their site. Chris D'Elia's children are proven to be safe and protected by Child Protective Services as they are currently in the care of a, whoa, and a woman who enables what she said. Chris D'Elia's children should be removed from his care and arrangements for them to be raised by their mother's parents or other such relatives should be made immediately before it's too late for them. Chris D'Elia's children are clearly being used as props, aiding 
in promoting Kristen Lee's public image of being someone he is not. And their need of a real loving parent is not met within their home that they share with a dangerous guy, abuser, like Chris D'Elia. Chris D'Elia had his children out of necessity and a desire to be viewed as a loving parent, not love or a desire to actually be a loving parent. I believe his children are in danger of being victims of their father's abusive nature. I do not believe Chris D'Elia capable of feeling genuine love towards anyone, including his children. All right, so she babbles on. I think this is one of those cases of Chris D'Elia is probably guilty of 90% of the things he's being accused of. But he is famous, and people are going to come out of nowhere and claim stuff to try and get in on it. And this seems like a case of this. I mean, we do know Chris D'Elia is being investigated, but obviously this lady tried to get a restraining order, and they wouldn't give it to her. She's blatantly asking for money. And so, like, this specific case, I'm kind of not buying. Like, Delia probably did or said some creepy stuff to her. But something tells me she's trying to make a mountain out of a molehill and get paid off of this because Chris Delia has money and stuff. And... She's going hardcore. I mean, damn, talking about his kid and stuff. And she doesn't even know how many kids he has. I think he just has the one son. I did hear his wife is an enabler. But I believe this is the one specific case Alice Hamilton was talking about. I guarantee you her video evidence, by the way, is she met Chris D'Elia like three times. And like I said, he might have been a creep to her, but... This is one of those weird ones where Chris D'Elia is probably guilty of 90% of the things he's being accused of. But this one little instance, I'm kind of not buying it from this whack job. Because she sounds like a whack job. She's demanding money. She seems she just wants attention. It might be one of those things where the thing she's technically saying is true, but really not as bad as it seems. Although, I don't know. She might be completely right in everything. I just got a gut feeling about this specific one. I don't know. But let me know your thoughts in the comments.